strategy as we get this started up. So basically, we have one backliner, two frontliners, and like a linesman, like a mid-tier guy. It's pretty obvious who is what role, right? There are packs sworn everywhere, right? So Probably me and yeah. the elf is the backline. I'm kind of the mid, because with Bounty Hunter, you kind of want to go in and out, in to get melee resets on your crit passive, and then uh, pull back a little bit to shoot back and forth. So, Elf, you're going to be constantly, I don't know what you know about American football, but you're trying to be in the pocket, if you know what I mean, right? You're trying to be in such a position that you're, you're safe, and you're going to use your reach with the spear so you can contribute with melee, but be far enough back in the pack that you can move away whenever you need to. I'll put a shot in him. Um, and whereas Slafar and Groan, even when there's a special, if you have to like switch to a melee for a second, or switch to range for a second to shotgun, that's fine. But then you want to go right back to pulling the front lines. Ah, I should have asked if anyone has shrapnel. I actually think I do. I hope I too. Think I do as well. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'm seeing. Tons of slap. All right, I'll grab this book. I figure that the first one, we'll grab Tomes. If we're doing really well, we'll grab Agram. Else, we'll just push forward. So notice I went around him, right? Even as I had aggro. If I walked backwards into you guys, you would have all had to block. But by going around him, you guys could all just unload. Okay. There's a leech. Oop. Heal, double. Uh, I cannot heal. Yeah, I've got the. Uh, so I would rather take the second. We should have discussed that ahead of time. Oh yeah, so it's, it's... I can't heal <laughs> Not worth. I'll just. Heal. Another chaos warrior. You get him? I shot him twice. Okay. Go ahead and drop down then. Drop down, drop down. Yeah. So these tornadoes, they act like units. Right? So they can't go down drop downs. They actually have unit ID and everything. So that's how their oh. behavior works. So do, it'll stay on that level no matter what. Well, it can do it. It can't do a drop down. It has to come back back and around. So drop uh, drop down makes you oh, perfectly it safe. it can't go over the ledge. Yep. Ah, they probably should clever. change that behavior, but that's from behind. I didn't know. That. So we'll just go ahead and fight it up. Oh, looks like they dropped behind us too. Why don't we pull over to me? Pop an ult, either one of you? Okay, that's fine. Look at the ult. Ulti. Did we never get around? I'll take him. Okay. Can you not heal? Nope. Okay. When you're on ping, probably not worth. So when there's armor near, you always want to ping it if you have a chance. It's just good practice. Because one yeah. cleave from a storm vermin can really hurt your party. Yeah, but it's better to like separate the ping like other armor. But sometimes work. Here, someone to grab that? Who doesn't have the ability to heal? Well, the black rats. Gunfire! Alright, you wanna grab the other book? Assassin? Yeah. Oh. Might be a double? No. Oh. I dodged it, but... It's your ping. So, we'll switch it off. When you're playing on ping, you never, never, never want to break that trinket. Or necklace. Okay. Got a horde. Yep. Come back down towards the low soldier. Behind you, I will fire and leash. Come towards me, guys. 
Bleach is down. Okay, I'll come to you guys. I don't like this spot versus where I was a second ago. You probably have so much stamina you could just go for it. Go for the revive. Reviving. They're coming from behind. Yep. Push forward to our aim over here. Push to me. Push forward. You want to be over here. Use your roll. Yep. Nice. Got old. The blight stormer behind the card. The blight So this position right here is where I wanted you guys to come. This is the good spot. It gives you more room. You guys were in such a spot that you didn't really have any room to hide behind each other. All right. Okay. Do you want to skip book? Or just go for it. Yeah, I don't really. I don't care either. Let's just go. No. All right. You probably can pop that heal. That's probably one in here. Let's see. Yep. Pop it. Yeah, but I have I the both of us. Oh, you have the thing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> of course. Really useful on champion. It's like yeah. I, it's, I don't think it's very setup. good in Lord unless you're very, very good. And not playing on ping. It's funny you call it Lord difficult. Oh, whatever it's called now. What is it called? Yeah. Legend. Legend. Whoa. It's funny that they changed the name. Why? No, they were just playing with it. They weren't even like trying to release that. Oh, well, they're Swedish, they don't know any better. <laughs> Alright, so you want to circle. Side dodge, never back dodge should control. Yeah, that was a uh... mistake. Nice, nice soul. Yeah, with hand ones now you can block, with the axe ones you can still take damage through. Looks like if you got the troll in a really open place, he's easy to manage, but it's just yep. in the corridor, the guy's so poor. Where's linear? Yeah, exactly. Alright, we good. That was called a naked ult, a naked troll, right? Because there's nothing else. My ult, my passive wasn't up. Oh my god. Please? So shotgun, you should be able to one-shot that from that range, I think. Yeah, I, sh I hit him, but he didn't go down. Alright, looking at ammo. Doesn't really matter. We're all kind of the same spot. We probably could have used... Um, we probably could have used a bomb to, for the damage amp there and to control him, but it didn't really matter. Mm -hmm. I actually don't know if right or left is better here. Probably right was better. Right is shorter. Okay. I wasn't sure if they both went up here. I don't know. If you're this... going for Grims and Tomes, I mean, it kind of changes. I mean, there's a Tome up here usually, but yeah. It's this map is kind of strange. Yeah. I haven't played these maps enough. Uh, I feel like we my didn't pick up the second Tome. Where was it? Uh, the second one was alike. Yeah, yeah, no, we, we intentionally didn't pick that one up. Remember? Uh, okay. I don't think... I think it's important to work on being able to clear runs rather than just necessarily going for full book, right? Exactly. Because the difference between yeah, Legend but... and Champion is so much that you don't really want to... Pull back a little. I don't like fighting around a corner. Because that's where you get pack masters that spread up right in your face. So, like, here's yeah. probably okay. We also pulled back enough that we'll probably get the whole fight linearized. I think I saw a teleporter up, by the way. Closer to the wall a little bit. Yeah. Call for ult, minus ready. Now it's back again. Just taking a peek for specials in between horde waves. Don't see anything. Yep. We can pull. We can stay right here. Okay, they're double. They're double. So pull back towards the wall. Yeah. Is that the sound cue that makes you know that? I was looking. I have my head on a swivel. So oh, as the okay. midliner and the backliner, 
your head, your job a lot of the time is to keep your head on the swivel rather than engage. I mean, you do the DPS that you can, but it's more important to keep awareness than it is to maximize how much you do in damage. Right? Every like, usually you take damage from a single rat that you haven't killed yes, anyway. Exactly. Anytime you see one Berserker, there's a really good chance you're going to see a lot of them. Yeah. The same with Plague Monks, I guess. And they're also rather quiet, and they tend to spawn in weirder locations, so I tend to try to keep my head on a swivel when I see one Berserker. Alright, we heard a gas rat. Kind of. You did? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I, you think, did. I think he's behind. The cannons are Make I heard him in my like, right head. Like you. So as a midliner, my Can job is to leech? try to take care of. Oh wow! Yep. Yeah. Nice. See, and that's why it's so nice to have shotguns, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're I gonna feel. drop. Yeah. Okay. Oh, behind. Gas rat somewhere. Okay, are you still... You're still white, right? You are no good to me, dead! Cheers, sir. Thank you. Uh, Packmaster somewhere. I think you were here in the horde. Uh, ambush. Yep, come, oh, back right, right. come back up the hill, buddy. Come back up the hill. So as a... Like a mid-ranger, it wasn't necessary for me to engage in the main horde there. I instead looked at the, the right. side problem that was coming and it got in the way first. Keeping myself slightly to the side. The elf should consider doing the same thing, right? She over-engaged right there, so if specials happened to spawn, she wouldn't have been in the right spot. I'm behind. Yep. Nice and good. So let the soldier hit the main spots. You guys want to collapse a little bit more towards the wall? We're a little spread out. If we collapse towards the wall and rotate it right slightly, we reduce the angle of engage to a linear fight right there. Yeah. That was kind of a crescent moon. Yep. Which is exactly what you don't want to do. It's like asking to be, you're literally it's, it's choosing to be surrounded as a team. Yeah, exactly. Mm. So, yeah, okay. It's all about encirclement, right? There's a backstabber Assassin? Nearby. Oh, I, mean. I didn't see him. So, what setup do you normally, like, recommend for a legend? Say two tanks and what do you call it a mid range? Or... You can get away with all sorts of things. It's more of a question of what do you need to have um, than what must you have, if that makes sense. So it, it, the game goes a lot smoother if you have someone who's got long range sniping capability, especially for Storm Rat, the Storm Chaos guys. Mm. And if you have someone who's got quite good deep burst DPS versus Chaos Warriors. And if you have someone who has burst DPS for close range specials. And then lastly, if you have solid DPS versus mini bosses. Like, those are, like, to me, the things that, that make the game go a lot smoother. What about hordes? Yeah, so that's a good question. Do you need horde clear? The answer is no. Really? No. Nope. Do we have any horde clear? Well, not really. Have hordes been scary at all whatsoever with good positioning? No, I mean, we failed positioning in the beginning. And, and it didn't even matter. Yeah. yeah, okay. And it hardly mattered. Especially because you guys have ult, lots yes. of stamina and ults. You have two ults that could save the party if we screw That's up. True. So I feel like tanks can make up the role of anti uh, AoE. There's a cast for We'll probably see if we can pull him. He's, he's on the right. Can you pull yeah. him? So when we hear a chaos warrior now. What just should our reaction be? Should it be, okay, find a good position, or... Depends on safe? context. So, oh, what's the shit this guy? Stormer. I don't have anything. You have it on? Elf, Elf, he's front. Teleported. Okay, we got split, it's fine. I picked the wrong moment to push. Behind you guys now, the way, like, by the ammo box, we got a bunch of ads. Yeah. So that right there is why it's so important for your anti, like your anti-range guy, to really have his head on a swivel about um, what's it called? 
Stormers, because they can yeah. really mess up the team more than anything else, in my opinion. They do tons of damage, they split the team, they take a lot of focus. Like, if you can preempt those, you, you take care of a lot of problems. Okay, so, Chaos Warriors. It matters a lot based off of your Cardi comp. If you have a Bounty Hunter who's geared, um, and a couple other things, like a Pyromancer who's geared, you can really just, just wreck them. But if not, they last a long time. The most important thing with them is controlling when you aggro them, as you were already kind of alluding to. Um, yeah. Oh, sorry about that. Did I get you? My bad. Uh, my bad. I should have jumped. I normally try to jump so, every time I shoot. Go um, ahead. We just got a, uh, what's it called, concentration potion. It's important who takes it. Like, should the tanks prioritize the, the ulti generation? I don't have a one answer for that yet. It's a good question. I think it's really strong on... It is really strong on, like, team save ultis. I think the knight being able to chain stun bosses is pretty interesting. Uh, yeah. it's, it's also it's, it's also rather interesting on... Um, I, I think Sienna, for example, can do a hell of a job with the same thing. Because she can yeah. get multiples of her ults off versus a mini boss and just control and DPS at the same time. Yeah. So I, I don't think it's especially important, but, like, I wouldn't put it on Salt's Fire. No. I don't know if I like it that much on low, like high cooldown ones, because it means what it means is you can use your ult, pop the potion, and get it off again twice in one fight. When does that come up? Well, it's probably going to end up being the case that the the meta for concentration potions is who can use it most aggressively, most successfully. All right, want to push out left? We'll get the cannonball. Or is it right better? I bet your right's better. I think you can to jump over to the roof. Yeah, at your left. Yeah, exactly. Right. You can jump right. Oh. All right, I'll just run along the ground real quick. Let's just. I think this finale. So right now, the the events do not scale with difficulty. This is not a legend level difficulty. No. No. You can juggle most um, most event type things by tossing and then grabbing. Oops. In this game, you don't have to look down at the item to pick it up. If you walk over it, it's simply enough. And it's often the key to juggling. Oh, really? Except for with this one's a little tough. But it's, it is possible. It's just hard to, oop, hard to do consistently. In this game, as in most games, if it's possible to stack DPS enough to just kill everything, that often becomes the best solution for everything, which is a little boring. Yeah. But of course, then how it was in Vermintide 1. Yep, 4 DPS was the best. And that wasn't always that way. It was the best at the end of the lifetime when we got really good. I think I have the wrong old spec on. Alright, just keep moving. Alright, well that was clean. That was super cool. So mostly it was a function of a couple things there, but let me ask you guys. So what went well and what do we have to work on? Positioning, we have to work yeah. on positioning because like, I think mostly because we don't play with each other like every day, let's say. So we don't really know the play style of the other person because like there is meta, right? But you have to know how other players play too. So that you can adjust to their playstyle better. Be more specific on positioning. Like, what about the positioning? Um, mm -hmm. 
Like the moment where I died is that we didn't have like we, we had a call where to move, but I think that was pretty late because we got overwhelmed very quickly. Well, like I'll be very. Oh, you're talking about the steps. The very beginning, the first horde. Yeah. Yes. Now I'll have you know I've literally never had a horde there before, so it's hard to know what the call is like this early in the game. But yeah, you're right. There definitely was a late call. What's the rule of thumb, though, for where to go during a horde? A wall? Oh. Yeah, a wall. a wall. And hopefully a wall that doesn't look like... If you look at it, it, it there's certain things you can tell. Like if there's a ledge above it, that's usually yeah. a bad wall to go to because there's a decent chance they're going to fall on top of you, which we call exactly. waterfalling. And waterfalling in this game is horrible because they're, they have you can't move them when they're climbing, so you just get stuck in place, which is just a death sentence. Yep, yep, a wall. Okay, and what else? What else did we do wrong? Like, think about the cave area with the positioning. Um, you're thinking about the ledge? The cave area where the second Grim is, that horde. Oh, give me a second. Uh, well, we got them into a crescent moon instead of linearizing. Um, the horde. So we were out in like a wide bubble from the wall. Yeah. So he each of us, us was kind of in our together. own fight. Yeah, we were each kind of doing our own fight. Which means yeah, the yeah. maximum number of players need to be doing DPS to the horde to control the horde, right? Which means, guess what? I mean, what are the implications of that? Let's say your positioning is such that all four of you need to be actively meleeing in order to control the horde. What can't you do? Block. You can block. Snap. You can push. still control with block and push. That's fine. What I mean is you have to be engaged in melee combat. All four of you must be engaged in melee combat. So, like, let's say we're in the center of this room, right? Silliest possible positioning. And we're each in, like, I'm in north, and you're in south, and he's in east, and he's in west. Okay. Now imagine a storm... Um, one of the, the Chaos Stormer guys spawns. What do you want to be able to happen? Him to die. Of course. <laughs> of course. So which means one of us has, at least one of us has to do what? Uh, Kill him. Pull out our, yeah. Pull out the range weapon. Yeah. Exactly. And how about his focus? What does he have to pay attention to? Is it the stuff right in front of him? Of course not. It's the stuff in the distance, right? So you yeah. want your, your sniper, whatever class he happens to be playing, to have the space both mentally, can he think about other things, and f and like physically, can he get away from the stuff around him to pull back and do another job, right? That's not right there. In order to do that, you have to be able to create a bubble of protection, right? Mm -hmm. And you cannot do that if we're too wide from the wall. If we're too wide from the wall and somebody's here, 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 and here, that means nobody can be here. Whereas if we're here, here, and here, there's a spot right in the middle for somebody to pull back. Okay, excellent. Um, and I thought our mini boss was really easy because we got just the mini boss.